I'm T4, and today we're dungeon diving in the Mistlands. If, if I can find one. Let's get in. Okay, so I did the thing and I did the stuff. Um, I actually did some research, which is new for me, but that's okay. Turns out there's a new pick um, that you need the Yggdrasil wood for. Uh, so now that I got that, I should be able to actually break the bones, get the black stone for the marble or whatever it is. And then start moving towards distilling the sap, I think is what they're calling it. But before I'm able to do that, I need to find a dungeon and get some new cores out of it. So that'll kind of be the focus of today. And something else I found out was for these eggs, all you need is a roof and some heat. And you can throw them down, not too close to the fire. They actually might die. I don't know if this fireplace will work, but we're going to try. Oh, I'm crap at this. Here, let's try this way now. Throw them down. Eventually, you'll get some chickens. I think it takes a couple of thin game days to get chickens out of it. Too cold. What? Since when does... There you go. We got warm on that one. We got warm on this one over here. Um, so we'll give those a couple of days and see how they go. And I'm going to go look for a dungeon and look for a... Or no, sorry. Collect some of this uh, stone stuff from the petrified bone and everything. So, uh, I don't know, sounds fun to me. There we go, it's actually doing something. A couple of new building pieces. Oh no! Guys, I'm gonna die for sure. friggin' thing. Oh, it's not gonna go away, is it? Is it nighttime or something and I didn't notice? What the frig is going on here? Yeah, I really don't expect to survive this. That friggin' flying thing there is... destroys me. I need to make some health potions, I think. flying guy go. I'm, I'm dead? No way. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Welcome to the Mistland! Alright, here we go. I'm hoping that Seeker Soldier's gone, but that's not my luck. So let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Okay, so as you saw, that Seeker was right at my portal. Um, at some point between dying and dying and dying and dying, I, I may not have reported them all. Uh, the portal, and I'm assuming everything else, has been destroyed. So now I've got to do a little bit of sailing. I'm like I said in the last video, I'm not going to drag you along for the four hours of sailing. So let's hope when I land, um, everything's not completely destroyed and I'm able to recover my stuff because otherwise I, I think I have to like do some serious grinding to be able to make the padded armor again. So, so let's hope for that's not the case. You know what I mean? And then we got this lovely gentleman here trying to destroy all this stuff. Will you not? Just, just not. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should always prep sufficient backup gear. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of sailing from one side of my map to the other. And uh, I'll see you in just a moment. While I'm doing my four hour sale, I was just wondering, do you guys have any podcasts or anime recommendations for moments like this? You know what I mean? I just need something to help pass the time a little bit. Leave it down in the comments, let me know. You know how when you go hunting for something, you can't seem to find it for the life of you? This is the third serpent I've seen hoping that it leaves me alone. 
because I have literally nothing to deal with it. I'm just trying to get back and collect a body. But they seem to want to just find me while I'm on this trip. Isn't it awesome? I'm not going to lie, this sail back went a little bit quicker than I was expected, though not as quick as you would necessarily hope for. Um, I also just realized I forgot anything to make a portal to make this any easier on myself. So I'm going to try to park up like right here and hope, or maybe let's do a cruise by and see, um, see what's going on here. Maybe that seeker soldier thing is gone and I can actually like get in here and do something, but that's not my luck. Is it cold? Is it nighttime? Of course it would be nighttime. Oh, nope, he's still there breaking everything. But I mean, if he's there, I need the stuff that's there. Maybe we can be silly here. Oh, now he's attacking my boat and there's so much stuff on that boat. Man, I can't even say it's my luck. It's my own fault for not being prepared, right? Oh, there it goes. There's so much stuff in that boat, too. Oh, what to do, what to do. Wait till daytime would be a good start. So, I just popped over to my swamp, uh, which is here. A little bit closer to where I'm going. Although, my other home is closer as well. Maybe we'll go there. So, my chicken's hatched. There's one. I think the other one's upstairs here. They love to just wander around. Uh-oh. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. So, after a while, they'll drop some eggs, and we can either make more chickens or just eat the eggs. Now, I'm going to pop over to my other home, and I'm going to build a boat there, because um, landing last time didn't go so well. The second I touched the ground, I got swarmed by friggin' Grey Dwarfs and stuff, so... Uh, but a little bit more planning this time. We'll take some supplies, like food, uh, portal building stuff, all the, all the goodies. And um, I'm gonna make like a little uh, camp spot, like around here somewhere, so that this doesn't happen. Anymore. Okay, so I now got two boats over here. I actually have the portal set up. So now it's time to start uh, trying to pick up some bodies and hopefully recover my stuff without the seeker and the freaking flying thing. I don't know what it's called yet. I think it's a, a jaw maybe. Um, killing me absolutely every time. Um, let, let's hope this goes a little bit better than it has been. I don't need all this stuff. I'll keep the food even though I wish it was better food. Uh, yeah. I don't have any better equipment because it's all over there on dead bodies. Let's see what I can get back. Oh, I should have made another wisp. Alright, this death marker, I don't think I had anything on this body. Doesn't look like it. I don't see a tombstone. I hear noises, I don't like it. Something going on over there. I really should just pop home and get another wisp. Oh, I can't even see to like move around. Alright, I'm gonna pop home quickly. Uh, and, and make another wish. I need to at least be able to see where I'm going. Let me out! There we go. You can see! Let's go get another wish. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little surprised I actually found this thing. I, I, I thought they were hard to find, which they were, not to mention I died half a dozen times trying to get here. Um, but, but let's see if we can find anything useful in it. Oh boy! I'm gonna die. Oh, they pushed me out! <laughs> I'm gonna stand here for a minute then. I need more health anyway. Let's go, that's 60, 45, 70, let's eat that. 50, that and that. I honestly think health is my biggest problem right now, so let's look at health food. Alright. Now I just need to heal. 
so I don't normally do time lapses, but this felt like the best way to show kind of what these dungeons look like without boring you through my forgetting to think externally. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you want more or less of these. Okay, well, I'm gonna call this an episode. Uh, I found a dungeon. I've only found, sorry, uh, I actually, I forget what they're called. I'm just gonna call them a dungeon. I've only found one core and I need like 10 to get started. So next episode, we're gonna work on body recovery, more dungeons and more cores. Uh, that way we can actually make progress. Uh, but I found one, so that's a good start. I'm T4, thanks for hanging out for so long. I appreciate it. Don't forget to click all that crap down below. I'll see you next time.